Thanks, Chris. I'm here in the Norway Dam in White County, where the water levels have lowered slightly, but as you can see, the dam is still well above flood, flood warning stage. Now, there are also several homes and roads still underwater throughout the area, which can make the roads conditions very dangerous for drivers. Now, joining me now with the latest on conditions here in White County is American Red Cross Disaster Program Specialist Dave Fagan. Dave, thanks for joining us. Now, tell me, what are some of the biggest issues right now here in White County with the water? Well, here in White County where the water is it's inaccessible to get to their homes. That's where the biggest problem is. The home may be safe, but they just can't get there. Okay. So with more rain, what are you guys anticipating having to do about that? Well, anticipating uh, last night the, uh, the shelter shut down, but we get more calls. We will reopen shelters. Okay, so... Do you, when do you anticipate having to reopen those shelters if you do? What, what's going to have to happen? It's going to have to, what's going to have to happen is a lot of people are going to need shelters. Some prefer not to because of their properties, but uh, the minute that we are told, we'll inform the media, inform the public. We don't know the exact time, just whenever the call comes for it. Okay, and then how do people get a hold of you if they if they need your help? All they have to do is call the American Red Cross. A lot of the, all the phones, Lafayette is the hub, and so a lot of the phones will come strictly to our office. Okay, well, thanks again to Dave Fagan from the American Red Cross. Now, we're going to continue to follow the flood coverage here in White County, and we hope to have more for you tonight on News 18 at 5 and 6. Reporting live in White County, Samantha Tiki, News 18.